Hey, sportsman, John Bergsman here live at DNR Sports Center in Kalamazoo, Michigan. The new renovation is done. The store is jammed. The weather is starting to turn for some great fall fishing. We got six really good reports today, starting out with a fall brawl report down out of Huron, Ohio. Then we're going to swing around the corner and talk about Lake St. Clair perch fishing. Slide on over to the west side of the state. It's going to be Grand River steelhead fishing with Brett Feenstra out of the outdoorsman. Then we're going to go north and talk with Greg Alsip from Leelanau Narrows. We're talking about walleye fishing, fall walleye fishing on Lake Leelanau. Jump over the bridge and we're going to do a little bit of Drummond Island walleye fishing. That's going to go for the next month here on the gravel shoals in the lower detour pass. Then we're going to come all the way back and end up in Saginaw Bay for some really good perch fishing and talk about late season walleye fishing. Six great reports here from DNR Sports Center in Kalamazoo. So hey guys, fall brawl report from Captain Kelly at Irregardless Sports Fishing out of Huron right now. Kelly's gonna be based out of Huron unless the fish tell him otherwise. So here's a report. We've got an awesome easy fishing report for you. If you can find the, the correct winds uh, that'll let you get out on the lake, the walleyes are starting to really chow down there by Huron. Simple fishing, 80 to 120 back on bandits. There's also a good bite going in that same 80 to 120 back, which is gonna be about 17 to 22 down. Now, if you were gonna run a different bait, wanted to try something new, hey guys, the Reapers from Walleye Nation Creation have been really starting to catch fish. Chatted with my buddy Lee Gould, who said he's been running those now for about a year and a half. This will be a second full season running those, and those have been putting a lot of fish in his boat. One of the advantages to running the Reaper over the Bandit is you can run them side by side, and the Bandits take more line to get deeper. So you can start short lining those Reapers and running them on your inside boards so that you don't have any clog ups when your fish hit. That's just a little tip. You don't necessarily want to always run the same bait as well because sometimes a little different action can put some really good fish in the boat and you never know which action they're looking for. But that depth zone from 17 down to 22 down seems to be where the fish are holding right now at Huron. Now, if you're looking for a starting depth, the area around the dumping grounds, to be honest, which is a real common spot, has been very, very good. Now, if you're going a little bit north and a little bit west of the dumping grounds, look for that water that's in that 42 to 47 foot total depth range. You should see the marks. The, there's a lot of fish coming into Huron right now. It seems like the minute this weather changed, those fish flipped and started headed back to the west. And a lot of them have already set up there outside of Huron. But again, Bandits or the Deep Reapers, fishing them eight, 17 to 22 down. Speed right now, walleye, the weather is still, you know, that water is still in the mid to upper 50s, 55 to 57, depending on what piece of water you're on. So you're still going to want to be going two miles an hour. You know, you're not going to want to slow down just yet. Two to two, two seems to be a good speed. So here on Ohio, fall brawl report number two. Stay tuned, we'll have one every week here out of Huron, Ohio, all the way until December 1st. The Bait Shop in Waterford is your one-stop live bait and fishing tackle destination. With an awesome selection of rods and reels, custom poured jigs, soft plastics, and panfish baits. The Bait Shop also has seasonal items for ice fishing, the Spring River Walleye Run, and summer salmon, bass, walleye, and pan fishing. Visit the bait shop in Waterford for all your bait and tackle needs. So hey, Lake St. Clair has been on fire. We've talked about it almost every week for the last several weeks and there's no reason to stop talking about it. This is the hot bite report, which means we don't just talk about random areas, we talk about where the fish are actually biting and they're biting so good on St. Clair, we're gonna have to come back. This time a guest report from our buddy, Nick Garantakis. Anthony Cappuccioni, Ali Bedone, all those guys are out hammering Lake St. Clair right now because the fishing has been awesome. So Nick tells, 
me that he tried a little two-fisted approach this week where he began fishing for crappies in and around marina docks. Now those crappies, the best poles were in that 12 to 14 foot of water. That seemed to be where the crappies were yarded up the most. And they were right under the surface. In other words, they were high, three to six feet down in an overall depth of 10 to 12 feet. The poles in 10 to 12 feet, crappies three to six foot down. He was catching those very, very well on tungsten and roadside minnow plastics, the small ones, of course, almost ice fishing plastics. So, you know, that contrast with the black tungsten with a lighter colored roadside minnow, the chartreuse or the pink or something like that was working really good. Now, you can fish that a couple different ways. You can flip that and work it back, count it down and work it back to you free. Or you can also throw that underneath uh, one of those see-through bobbers and you can just pop jig that in and around the post. And when that bobber, you know, jerks or jolts a little bit, you got a fish, you go ahead and hit it. Now, if you're looking for perch fishing, Nick, like I said, he did the two-fisted approach. He went out and found some fish in and around bottom weeds. That's been the key. A couple of reports ago, Anthony was doing the same thing when he was pitching drop shot to big perch. So you're gonna want to find short bottom weeds. I call it perch grass. And you're gonna wanna be looking for that in a lot of different depths. It's really about the fact that you're fishing short weeds. It's not so much that you're in 12 or 14 or 16 feet. It's that you wanna be in and around those short weeds and you're catching lots of fish. Now, perch pounders is what Nick likes to use. Um, good colors there, of course, uh, just a variety. You always have a few different colors out and let the fish talk to you, but he's been tipping them with live emeralds and that's been a really good presentation straight over the boat. If you're like Anthony and you wanna be a little more aggressive, you can flip a drop shot on them with a real small you know, uh, egg hook uh, with a lip hooked emerald. So either way you choose to fish, it's been really, really good fishing top of the roll at the shipping channel. But again, if you're really wanting to hone in on the best perch and the biggest perch, look for short weeds on the bottom between 12 and 18 feet of water. Hey, thanks, thanks Nick for a great report. Get out there on Lake St. Clair. This bite should really turn on for walleyes. Next week, we're gonna be talking to Captain Eric Long from Longlines, who's gonna be taking us out walleye fishing on Lake St. Clair. So stay tuned for that report. Midwest Steel Carports is Michigan's premier steel building manufacturer. We manufacture and install custom steel buildings throughout Michigan. Our engineer certified steel buildings are fully tailored to fit your every need and our up to 40 year warranty protects your investment. From residential storage sheds to commercial warehouses, let our team work with you to find your ideal building. For more information and pricing, visit MidwestSteelCarports.com. Hey guys, Captain Brett Feenstra is a staff member over at the Outdoorsman Pro Shop in Jenison. Gave us a great report this week with some really good pushes of fresh fish up into the Grand River in the Grand Rapids area. So he's steelhead fishing up, of course, close to the Sixth Street Dam, and he's catching those fish basically right downtown Grand Rapids. Now, he's been catching them uh, basically by either using beads or floating spawn uh, in and along the eddies and the current seams up there in the critical holes. Now this is one guys where I'm gonna tell you, if you're not familiar with river system fishing, then you just wanna go, go ahead and pick up the phone and call uh, Brett and get a guided trip. There's several other guides that work that piece of water, but steelhead fishing in the fall is kind of a guided trip thing. You'll just get a lot more out of it, unless you're a river rat with your own boat and you really know what you're doing. I really suggest guys get out there with guys who know what they're doing. They can tell you and show you exactly where the fish are holding in these holes and on current seams. But the real thing is this is the time of year for the next two to three months, steelheading is gonna be awesome. Now, right now, every time you get a blast of rain and some cold weather, it typically will send some fresh fish up the river. So they're going up to feed on the king salmon, that, the eggs that have just spawned in most of these major river systems. So whether you're fishing the Grand River or you're fishing up on the Muskegon River, north to the Pier Marquette, the Manistee, guys, it's all the same things. 
Every time you get really a blast of cold weather or a surge of rain, a day or two of rain, it's gonna press, push fresh fish up into the river and it gives you an opportunity. Right now is the time to call these guides to get on their list because this time of the year, they get really booked up. But if you're looking for a great adventure, something maybe you've never done, river fishing for steelhead, first 30 days of the season can be lights out. You always get the best at Bex Trailer Superstore, the nation's largest trailer dealer. With over 1,500 trailers on 45 acres, you won't find a better selection anywhere. Whether you're looking for an open or enclosed trailer for work or play, you'll find the perfect trailer at Bex. We have flexible financing options through several national and local lenders to offer the most competitive rates and payments from only $69 per month with approved credit. For the best selection of quality trailers at unbeatable prices, call 888-SAVE-BEX or visit BexTrailerStore.com. So hey, next stop of the day, we're up to the Traverse City region and we're talking Lake Leelanau walleye fishing. Now, Captain Brian Bice, Captain Greg Alsip, both guides up there in that area. And uh, Greg Alsip is the owner of the Leelanau Narrows Resort. So they've got a bait shop there as well. That's a really great spot to stop in and great, get information. If you're looking for accommodations in the area, Greg's got ca cabins right on the lakes to serve you. Now he's also a guide, so he's taking care of his customers. But right now, this is one of those things you can do yourself with your own boat. Greg's likely pretty booked up as, as is Brian. So if you're looking to do it in your own boat, here's how you do it. This is a combination bite of swim baits or jerk baits. So my favorite swim bait this time of the year for that circumstance is gonna be a Strike King Rage Swimmer. It's probably gonna be the 375 size and it's gonna be the white with the clear uh, belly. I would say it's uh, the ice color uh, is a really good color. Otherwise, just straight white is a really good color. Another great color up there is Electric Shad or AU. Those four different colors put a lot of fish in the boat. And you're basically just chucking and letting it, chucking and working transition edges. And when I say transition edges, I mean on Lake Leland, you're gonna be working clean to weedy. And that means you're gonna be, whether it's sand to weeds or rock to weeds, you're gonna be wanting to cast towards shore from the deep and bringing those baits out to you. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you let them sink enough to actually come in contact with the top of the weeds a little bit. Now, my suggestion for you is to always have braid on when you're casting this presentation to get the immediate transfer of the bite. And also to feel when you tick a weed, you'll wanna snap your rod, pop that bait, not only does it make it jump off the weed, but it usually clears the bait of any weeds that might hang up on the hook. That keeps you running free. Also stagger your reeling. Don't just cast in and reel the same speed back. Typically that doesn't get near as many bites as if you let that bait sink, you reel a couple cranks, pause, let it sink, reel a couple more, pause. If you watch these guys fish, they're alternating the speed of that bait enough to really cause bites to happen. So it's a swimmer bite there. Now, if you're getting close to dusk or right away in the morning, it can be an awesome jerk bait bite as well. KBD jerk baits in the 200 or 300 series, depending on how deep the weeds you're fishing are, are a great choice. Sexy Shad is a really good color up there. I'm not even gonna talk to you about a different color to be honest, because Sexy Shad is the one I would throw. Um, it, it's a great looking bait. It's awesome in that clean water on Lake Leelanau, and I've cast it plenty of times to know the fish up there love it. So for the next month or so, pre-ice, walleye fishing transitions on Lake Leelanau. White River Tackle's Perch Pounder is the finest two-hook perch rig in the industry. Its unique fish skin technology, coupled with a soft low bead, make the Perch Pounder irresistible to fish. Available in a variety of fish catching colors, simply tip each hook with your favorite live bait and let the fun begin. So whether it's perch, crappie, or bluegill, ask for White River's Perch Pounder by name. So next stop of the day, we're gonna jump across the bridge and we're gonna talk Drummond Island in the lower detour, the lower St. Mary's River Passage area. There is a ton of gravel bars in that area of the river. Now, what 
is a big deal. What's such a big deal about the gravel bars? Well, when you talk to guy John Goble from Customized Sport Fishing right up there in Drummond Island, that's your go-to guy if you're looking for big fall fishing. What happens is the walleyes will start to set up for their winter, winter homing in this area of the river. And they use these gravel bars throughout the day to go up and grab perch and gobies off of the gravel and rock bars that are in this part of the river. Now, it becomes really easy to catch them once the cold weather sets in. And the, the double-fisted action part of this bite is you'll lose a few big bandits to muskie. And you can also target these muskies. John and I are going to go out here in a week or two, and we're going to try to wrangle some muskies to the boat while we're walleye fishing. And that's a really fun bite. Now, it's not a bite that a lot of people even know about or do. So it's worth your time to get on John's schedule and get up there and experience it. We filmed a show there a couple of years ago. Jump on my YouTube. You can watch it with Captain Dane Stanaway. And... Uh, this big crankbait bite for big walleyes, I mean four to ten pounders, goes really consistently here from now until about Thanksgiving. Now that's usually an early ice up situation up there because of the cold weather, so make sure you get on the phone right away. If you're going to do it in your own boat, just make sure you got a good chart, you're looking for gravel bars, you're short lining big bandits over top of gravel bars that usually top out anywhere from five feet down to nine feet. That's the presentation. Looking for colors, I would use normal custom colors you'd use on Lake Erie, believe it or not. If it's a good looking color on Lake Erie, it's gonna work there in the lower detour. Remember though, water flowing through the St. Uh, Mary's River is Lake Superior water, it's gin clean, so it's gonna fish a lot like clean water on Lake Erie. Check out the full line of PolarCraft boats at PolarCraft.com. So hey guys, last stop of the day is Saginaw Bay. Mark Pianizic, captain from Real Fish and Charters, has been out pounding the nice perch on the bay for the last several weeks. He says the bite's been very consistent from Standish. See, I told you we were live here at DNR Sports. So Standish down to Pin Conning Road has been a really good bite. Now the depths of water you're looking for these perch is about eight to 16 feet. Now you're gonna cruise around to find these schools. If you have a Garmin Live Scope, it's a big advantage right now because you can forward look 100 feet out in front of your boat and find these schools to the right or to the left of the front of the boat. A lot of times I'll like to just idle with my bow mount down, pointed straight forward, and have my Garmin Live Scope being fed to my console graph. If you network your units together, that's a real simple function. And then you can simply idle around at four or five miles an hour looking for schools of fish. When you find them, your remote control's right there on the dash. You can, you can inch close to them, you can hit your spot lock and do the last 50 or 60 feet under electric power. But that's a great way to search for perch. And when you find the perch, of course, you want to get right close to them and then you're going to want to drop perch pounders down. Lots of different colors work out there. The big key is tip them with emeralds or raw cocktail shrimp. Raw cocktail shrimp on Saginaw Bay is a really big secret uh, of a lot of the locals. They catch a lot of fish on the cut up shrimp uncooked now remember that raw guys i mean it's a lot like a crayfish claw and that's what triggers these uh, big perch to bite it and they seem to get a lot of times the bigger perch they'll catch on the raw cocktail shrimp not that of course emeralds don't work just fine too but uh, i run a lot of shrimp when i'm over on the saginaw bay area and i do really really well with it so Remember that, so eight to 16 feet standish to pin conning right now. If you're looking to get out on a cha charter, obviously real fish and charters with Captain Mark Pianizic. But hey, that's the Saginaw Bay in a scoop. We're gonna be back talking Saginaw Bay in a couple weeks because the next 30 days is go time for big fish on big cranks. So hey guys, like I said, we're here in the new 
vastly improved, totally remodeled DNR Sports Center, and this place is packed with product. This is one of the biggest things that sets DNR apart from a lot of the other stores, is that Randy and the folks here knew this constriction was coming, and they ordered heavy a year ago, and they've got full shelves of everything you need for not only freshwater fishing and softwater fishing, but they're gonna be fully stocked up with ice fishing equipment as well. And hey, it's hunting season right now, and so Brett's gonna show you with our drone just all of the cool hunting stuff they've got. They've got all their clothing out and on display. They've got deer stands, of course. They've got all kinds of paraphernalia that is involved with hunting. Of course, they have a monstrous selection of guns, a huge selection of ammunition, competitive prices. And you know what? You just gotta stop in here. You gotta make a trip. This is like a half day trip. Don't come here for an hour. You can barely walk through the store in an hour. There's so much stuff here. And here's a suggestion for you. Buy early because guys are gonna run out of stuff. If you're gonna do day trip destinations next year, you might be well served to get here this year, get your cart, get your stuff that you restocks the tackle box from this year, baits you lost, baits that are tore up, you know, all that type of stuff. Restock now so that you don't wonder why you didn't do it next April or May when people are starting to run out of things already. So, hey, get over here to DNR Sport, whether it's fishing, whether it's hunting, whether it's just clothing, or whether you're just bored and it's pouring rain. This is a great way to spend a few hours sometime. We're down here in Kalamazoo on West Main. You can just Google it online, DNR Sports Center, and you can get the address. Hey, John Bergsman here. Thanks for joining us on Fisherman's Digest Hot Bite Report. We'll see you next week.